This year in TV Pro has been fun, refreshing, and insightful. The thing I enjoyed the most is being able to display my creativity through film. This year has been insightful because I felt engaged when I worked on all of my films, especially during the filming process. I learned after a while that learning the process of production was something I could do research on my own time and that I wanted to pursue my career in the film industry. I was able to explore more through inside of the class experiences that have shown me that I want to continue working behind the camera. Specifically, I really enjoyed being the DOP because it gave me a chance to express my point of view creatively. I had the challenging opportunity to work on the 7 day festival and it pushed me in learning time management. I first tried to redo shots to make it perfect but then I realized that I needed to take a risk and I was able to finish on time. This gave me a chance to learn something different that taught me to accept my failures. I'm so thankful for the opportunity and believe that this class is a completely different learning experience from what I've learned previously. After taking this class, I hope I'll use what I learned to further my career in the film industry. I realized that time management will be something I'll use in my everyday life. I've also learned so much about who I am because I've grown up. I'm glad I had this opportunity because it taught me a lot about the career I want to pursue. Thanks. Welcome Midlothians and welcome to the 2018 Bremen District Holiday Special brought to you by BDTV. We have a show full of fun and festivities for you all here today. We have four guests from each school district in 228. Each guest will compete in a three-part friendly competition to determine who has the most holiday spirit. Representing Bremen High School, please welcome Gisela and Alyssa. Coming from Oak Forest High School, please welcome Abdul. And last but certainly not least, representing Hillcrest High School, please give it up for Jazz. Thanks for coming, guys. First up in our three-part competition, we have a game of Holiday Jeopardy. Okay, so here's how the game will work. Each, con each contestant will get a chance to choose a holiday category and a number. Each number ranges in the difficulty of the question. If the contestant gets the question correct, you will hear a... They get the number of the points for the question, and then it's on to the next person. However, if they answer incorrectly, you will hear a... And it's minus the amount of the question was worth. And then one of the other contestants gets a chance to steal it by hitting their buzzer. Contestants, are you ready? Let's get started. The categories are reindeer, Christmas food, Christmas movies, holiday history, and all around the world. Gisela has won the twin cause, so she gets to choose first. Um, I choose Christmas food for 300. The shape of a candy cane means... You have five seconds. I'm sorry, you are out of time. One other student may steal the question. Do you guys know the answer? Candy cane. I'm sorry, you are all out of time. We'll have to move on to the next question. Since you did not get it correct and you didn't have enough time to answer, you may choose another category. Uh, I choose all around the world for a hundred. Buzz in if you know the answer. Traditionally used. Oh. Gisela. Lanterns? I believe that is correct. All right. Kay. Now you may choose another category. Oh, okay. Um, I choose. Christmas food for 200. It is also served heated or mold and available on Halloween and Thanksgiving. Buzz in if you know the answer. Mm. 
I'm sorry, you are out of time. Someone may buzz in to steal it. That was Abdul. Uh, cookies? I'm sorry, that's close, but that is still incorrect. The correct answer is Gingerbread House. Moving on. Now, Abdul, you have the choice to go ahead and choose another category. Um, uh, Christmas food 100. Also known as Milk Punch. Buzz in if you know the answer. Gisela. Eggnog. That is correct. Yeah. All right, since you answered correctly, you may choose another category. All right, so I choose hmm, Christmas movies for 200. Tells the adventure of Jack Skellington, Halloween Town's Pumpkin King. Buzz in if you know the answer. Oh, oh Gisela. <laughs> the Nightmare Before Christmas. Correct. That is two correct answers for Gisela. Yeah. You may continue and choose another category. Um, I choose Reindeer 400. All right. Number of reindeer found in the poem was the night before Christmas. <sighs> Five seconds on the clock. Wasn't well, if you know the answer. Twelve. Um, number one, Gisela. Was it twelve? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oof. All of you have a chance to steal this. Jazz. Was it nine? Close, very, very close, but that is still incorrect. Can I say this? Abdul! Eight. That is correct! Did mine not work? Uh, I think now that you have answered correctly, you may choose another category. <laughs> Holiday history 200. Holiday history for 200. Origin of eggnog. You have five seconds on the clock. Buzz in if you know the answer. Like. I'm sorry, you have ran out of time. One of you may steal the answer if you do know it. I don't know. <laughs> Germany? Gisela. <laughs> Germany? Is that I'm what sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> the correct answer is England. Oh. England? England. Now, since you have answered incorrectly, you may choose another category and someone may buzz in. Um, I choose Christmas food for 500. All right. For Kwanzaa, you might serve ground nut stew or this Jamaican dish of chicken seasoned with allspice and peppers. One of you may buzz in if you know the answer. I'm sorry, you have Ooh. Gisela. <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. Um. <laughs> you know. Know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Someone may steal it if they know it. All right. It seems like that we have run out of time for this one. Let's move on to the next category. Abdul, you may choose. All around the world, 300. The Chinese New Year's is celebrated for this many days. Abdul. Seven. Seven? That is incorrect. Someone may steal the answer. Alyssa. Twelve. Nope, that is still incorrect. One other person may steal the question. Ten. That is incorrect. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> we'll move on to the next category. The answer is 15 days. Oh. One. Moving on to the next category. Since you have answered the last one, even though although incorrectly, you may choose the next category. Uh. 
Uh, for history, 300. Holiday history for 300. The amount of the time Ramadan is celebrated. Abdul. 30 days. That is correct. One month. <sighs> Since you have answered correctly, you may choose another category. Holiday is history, 400. This is a special candle holder that holds seven candles and are lit each night of Kwanzaa. Five seconds on the clock. Gisela. It's not a candelier. No. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Just kidding. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Thank you. Someone may steal the question. Guess All right. No one knows what it is. The answer is Kanara. Oh, close. All right. You may choose another category, Gisela. Oh, my God. Uh, holiday history for 400. 500. Sorry. Christmas decoration that was originally made from strands of silver. Number one, that would be Gisela. <laughs> Ornaments? No, that is incorrect. One other, Try to. one other contestant may steal the question. Oh, uh, jazz. Christmas lights? Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is tinsel. Jazz, you may to choose another category. Christmas movies, 100. Jim Carrey's character ruins Christmas for Whoville. Jazz. The Grinch that stole Christmas? That is correct. You may choose another category. Christmas movies, 300. Name the movie with the quote, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Abdul. Come along. That is incorrect. Oh One other student may steal the question. Mm -hmm. Five seconds on the clock. I'm sorry, that's out of time for that question. Oof. Abdul, since you answered last, you may choose the next category. All around the world, 400. Celebration of this Jewish New Year is known as... Gisela! Hanukkah. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh. <laughs> Holy. One other concession may steal the question. Kwanzaa? Uh, Alyssa! Kwanzaa? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The actual answer is, what is Rosh Hashanah? What? Oh, <laughs> I would have got that right. Alyssa, since you have tried to answer the previous question, you may choose the next category. Reindeer 200. Name the three reindeer that begins with the letter D. Buzz in if you know the answer. Three reindeer, right? Oh, okay. Like all three of them? Yes. Oh, Dixon. Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> I don't know that one. I'm sorry, that is an incomplete answer. One other uh, contestant has a chance to steal it. Five seconds on the clock. All right, since no one answered, we're gonna have to move on to the next category. This is the last question. Now, since you have answered the previous question, 
you may choose the next category. Christmas food, 200. It is also served heated or mold and available on Halloween and Thanksgiving. Abdul. Gingerbread. That is correct. <laughs> all right. I want to, uh, I want to thank you all for continuing in this uh, fine little game. Next up, we have a little challenge for the contestants today. It's time for the drawing contest. We're going to be drawing reindeers. Each contestant gets their own marker, paper, clipboard, and they all get one minute to sketch their best reindeer. When the minute is up, we'll reveal the drawings and determine the winner. Contestants, are you ready? Okay. Timers, start now! Rather intense battle march. This could be a close battle. Let's see who wins. Twenty seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Present your reindeers, and I'll judge them fairly. They're all very nice. This may be a little bit difficult. What is that Did they step on it from the top? <laughs> now, I will have to say, the winner, the winner is Gisela. That was fun and all, so now we're going down to our last game of the night. The score is currently... Abdul is winning with 300 points. Now, since we're moving on to the gift wrapping competition, one other team has a chance to take the glory. Each contestant gets one minute to wrap a gift, but here's the catch. Each contestant will get a random and difficult gift to wrap, a roll of wrapping paper and tape. Okay. Ready, guys? The timer starts now! One minute on the clock. Thirty seconds on the clock. Twenty-five seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, present to us your gifts. Now I'll judge these fairly and accordingly. I think I'll have to say Alyssa is the winner. So here's the score for the night. Congratulations to Abdul. 
you have over 300 points. One, 300 points. Oh, sorry, my mistake, 100 points. And this concludes our holiday game show. Thank you all for coming out and playing with us. Ho, ho, ho!